Hey guys, Jano Zero. Me and the boys are up here on top of the hill eating sawdust, getting some more wood down here from this beech tree that came down. Sawdust tastes good. Yeah. Got our sled down there, getting ready to load it up. But what we're going to do is I am going to make a clock for a Christmas present for my mother because I'm a big mama's boy and I think this beech tree would make a very pretty clock so what I'm going to do is take the old trusty handy dandy husky saw and cut me probably two or three inch section of this beech trunk here because I think it looks really cool and I think when we get it sanded down it'll make a very fine clock so I'm going to give the camera here some oldest for a second Step one of making making a clock. We're gonna take this and turn it into a clock. And I'll take you through as we go. So we'll get back with you when we get to the next step. This is how we do it, y'all. Man, I wish I had a back deal. Alright, guys. The next step that I'm going to do, I had to go out, those other ones were just a little too big, uh, big around, and they just weren't going to look right. So I went and cut a couple of smaller ones, the same way that I cut those big ones. And what I did is I've got a couple of pieces of wood here uh, in the shave horse so that I can have a platform to put this up on so that I can get after it with my drawing knife. What I want to do with my drawing knife is uh, all those rough, these rough places here where the... Uh, the chainsaw cut through. I'm just going to try to smooth them out a little bit, get some of the big gouges out of it with the draw knife uh, before we hit it with some sandpaper. So we're just, going to, we're just going to bring our draw knife across it and try to smooth it out so that we can uh, hit it with the sandpaper a little easier. It definitely wants to wobble around a lot, but you've got to be patient with it, keep after it. I bring it into my chest here, like this, so that when I draw, I can I have a good solid base to draw against, since I don't have anything to able to hold it down for me. And I just get up and go like this up here for a little while. Get some of those big burrs worked out of there.
that's this phase of it anyway. I don't want to bore the crap out of everybody by sitting here watching me work my drawing knife back and forth over this. So, then we get it done here. And when we move on to sanding, then I'll uh, turn the camera back on and we'll start sanding it. Okay, I'll be right back with you. <clears throat> okay guys, I've been got it. Going that standing on this for, I don't know, half hour or 35 minutes or so. Starting to smooth up real nice. These hardwoods are not really at all easy to work with. So, I just keep going around and going over it, folding up my sandpaper, trying to get into some of these little nooks and crannies, smoothing them out the best that I can. <clears throat> but it's uh, kind of cold out today, it's starting to get colder as the, uh, the day gets longer. Just a couple of snowflakes every once in a while, and uh, a little bit of sleet and stuff, my hands are getting really cold. But I want to get it smoothed out enough to where I can take it in the house and uh, I think I'm going to stain it a different color than this. Um, a little bit darker. Uh, with some oil that I have, that'll kind of seal it up and uh, keep the wood from splitting and give it a little bit of a darker tone to it, a little bit of a darker tint. And then we will see how that looks, and if we don't like it, then we can, you know, take it off and, and uh, or just do another piece. But I think it'll look pretty nice, uh, a little bit darker color, so. Sanding, sanding, sanding. Smoothing it all out. I do have a little, one of those little handheld belt sanders, but, uh, eh. I'd rather keep it all handmade. So this is what I'm up to right now. This is where I'm at as far as making this. Just sanding this down to get it all as smooth as I can. And um, once I get it uh, where I want it, and I go to put some oil on it and stain it and make it a darker color, we'll pick it up there. Buzz, buzz, the end.